It has been a disaster weekend on eBay. If I pull the numbers up to give you a look at what took place, it was just a total of $661 in revenue, which as you can see there is 38% less than what I typically get over a weekend period. We had 17 sales come through. I usually average about 25. Uh, fortunately, the average sale price did hold there at around about that $39, $40 mark. So in this video today, we're going to go through another Monday. We've got a lot happening this week. It's a unique week. I'm going to touch on that a little bit later in this video, but I really want to jump into these 17 items that have sold, show you what is actually moving, and then fingers crossed we can gain some sales throughout the day to get this store back up and running. Let's get into it. So it was a pretty strong weekend in the DVD section, guys. We've had a total of seven sales come through right here, and it was $225 worth of revenue, an average sale price of $32. The first one that I want to take you through is Black Sales, Series 1 to 4, complete series set. Bought this in the vlog last week, if you may have remembered. A $76.50 sale price, bought it for $40 straight out of Big W. So just like I thought, about a $15 to $20 profit there on that one. Now these two are some other big uh, W specials as well. $4 into $31 for Whitechapel Series 3. That's a big Bolo TV show. And then Foils War, we've got Series uh, 9 here. This one sold for $18. Uh, so not too bad when you're buying both of those for four bucks a piece, straight out of Big W. This is a good TV show, guys, Firefly. Nothing too special from a price point perspective. $13 on that one there, $11 on that one there, but they are still turning around pretty quick. Uh, this is a really common TV show, guys, The Borges. Uh, I've got series one to three. It's a complete series set, seasons one to three, so that's why this one's turned around quick. Uh, we've got a $24.75 sale price on that one there. That'll go into a satchel with some bubble wrap to get that one out the door. And then this one here, Inspector Rex, we've got series one, three, four, and then we've also got buy request here as well. Now, uh, this isn't complete by any means. Obviously, season two is missing out of the bundle, but we were still able to get a $50 sale price for this mixed bundle here, guys. So that was a really good turnaround, a really good TV show uh, to be looking out for there. I always pick it up whenever I see it. So $225 worth of value in the DVDs, guys. A $32 average sale price, pretty good. Now guys, last week was my best week of clothing sales and it actually didn't come from eBay. It came from the vlog last week when I put a little comment in there to say that I was looking to get rid of some of this stuff, some of these clothing items that I'm not too interested in selling anymore. I'm going to focus more on DVDs and video games, shoes and hats, and I'm going to bring all of the DVDs that are upstairs and downstairs now that I've got all of these empty tubs that you can see down here. So we had $1,000 worth of revenue come through, six wholesale orders, 120 clothing items that I was able to push out of the door this week. So thank you very much to those that bought a bundle and hopefully, well, not hopefully, I know you'll go on to make a heap of money because I think the average purchase price was around $6.50 or $7 per item, uh, which was pretty cheap. Um, this one right here, we've got a Sydney 2000 Bonds uh, Genuine Windbreaker Jacket here. This one is an absolute beauty, guys. Found this one in the flea market. I paid $2.00. Had it up on my eBay store for quite a while. I was asking a hundred bucks for it. Finally had somebody offer me 75 and considering I bought it for two bucks at the flea, I had to say yes to that $75 offer. So that was a really cool result. Uh, it did take a little while to sell, but I think I've just priced a few of my items in my store at just too much of an asking price. And I think I, I know actually when I was doing my wholesale, that I really should have taken the time to go through some of my really sort of Jats Cracker, really great type items, and just drop the price a little bit, and they might have sold. A bit like this one here, perfect example. Um, so make sure you're always going back through your old listings and just finding those that aren't turning around, because it might not be because of the item, it might just be because of the price that you're asking. So uh, this one here, this was a Tomlinson uh, San Diego Chargers NFL jersey. Uh, really good condition, the genuine Reebok tag on there as well. So that one there sold for $65, which was brilliant. And then we've got some Wrangler straight chino pants here as well. We had $35 asking price on these here. Another coupon activated at the checkout. We've got a $31.50, uh, $31.50. We've got a $31.50 sale price on that one there. So 123 items of clothing uh, sold over the week, three this weekend. Jumping into the video game category, guys, I've got these four right here that have been able to come through over the weekend. Uh, we had $120 worth of value here, an average sale price of $30. So Skate 3, a uh, really good game, always a quick mover for me. Um, always pick this up whenever you see it. Bought it in an op shop a few weeks ago for $3. Uh, we've got a sale price there of $17. And 50 cents. So that was pretty good. Uh, Call of Duty World War II, we got an $18 sale price on that one there. Call of Duty always does well. Uh, this was on eBay for a day. Iron Man 2, the video game, got an $18 sale price uh, on that one there. I picked it up in a recent trade that I did with my Kobe Bryant's. 
Um, put that up on as a YouTube short as well. So go and check that one out if you haven't seen it. Uh, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. This was bought straight out of Big W, brand new and sealed. I paid 39, I've sold it for $68.50. So I've made myself probably 15 odd dollars uh, when it's all said and done. So that was a good little turnaround there as well. So uh, an average sale price of 30 bucks, four sales in the video game section. It is a category that I'm always focusing on. So it's good to see a few more come through. Now, in last week's video, I showed you guys a big uh, shoe bundle that I was able to pick off uh, a guy in Perth. And he sent them through and all of last week, I started to list them up. Now, I've got three sales that have come through in the shoe category, as you can see here. And I can guarantee you, it is because I was putting shoes into eBay as new listings. I think that's a very important part to realize. Whatever you list, I believe the algorithm then starts to work on those listings that are already in your store per the category. So no wonder after what was last weekend of 35 weekend sales, zero shoe sales, I then go and list a bunch of shoes that last week and I've finally got a few sales in the shoe category come through. So just have a think about it. I think as a new seller, it's always good to try a bunch of different categories, but if you can try and hone into maybe three or four regularly sourced categories, I think that's gonna allow for general sales to keep coming through in that space. So hopefully that all made sense, but um, the shoes that I've got here are three really good ones. Let me take you through them now. The first ones are these Nike indoor soccer shoes. They're actually not the best pair of shoes I've ever bought in my life. We've got a $33 sale price on these ones here. And to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't be picking up the indoor soccer shoes. Uh, in my opinion, they just haven't turned around very well. Uh, so I have stopped sourcing those ones. Um, these ones here, the Trabucos, the, uh, they're, they're a hiking shoe um, for the Asics uh, range. And these ones sold for $52. I bought them for $15. Uh, in a private pick uh, not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago. So 52 bucks on those ASICs. They will, because they are a bigger shoe, have to go into a medium satchel, uh, which means my postage will be a little bit more for those, but still $52, $52 not too bad. And then $58.50, these will go into a small satchel. The Nike Metcons, uh, a really good gym sort of weightlifting shoe, these. And um, look, I've actually sold the Metcons the most, I believe, out of any shoe in the last two years. So if that doesn't tell you that these Metcons are a really good range of shoe to be finding, uh, nothing will. So there you go, guys. Look, it was only three sales in the shoe category. I've got so many shoes to sell, but uh, it's nice to see while I list a few new ones up, I get a few old ones come through. Well guys, I always like to try to take the positives out of things. And while it was a pretty slow weekend of sales, it did allow me to knock the post over nice and early today. All done by 9am, we are off to our first thrift store of the day because I need to get 20 items. I need to get 20 items because I'm only gonna be listing Monday and Tuesday this week. I'm actually off to Perth. It's a bit of a different week this week. I'm in Perth from Tuesday night through to Sunday. I'm over there for a mate's wedding, but I'm also gonna do a bit of content, do a bit of thrifting. We've got a reseller meetup event taking place on that Wednesday, the 28th of September. I've spoken about it over the last few weeks, but if you're hearing it for the first time, there is still time to come along to that event. Let me know on Instagram, at the Aussie Flipper. But I need to basically just go and find these 20 items so I can schedule up, but I won't be scheduling while I'm away. I was at a recent eBay event and I spoke to the guys at eBay and they said, you don't need to be listing every single day. I found that really hard to not do because I felt like my entire business has been built around the fact that I've been really consistent with my listings. So this is a perfect opportunity to trial the no listing setup. I'm not gonna be on time away mode either because I think that would absolutely kill my sales while I'm away. I'm actually gonna go on a three plus business day shipping method. So a delay in shipping in a sense of me being away for three business days, hopefully that doesn't kill my sales too much. I'm gonna be manipulating listings while I'm over there in Perth on a daily basis to make myself, I guess, look active while I'm away. Um, but I won't be going on time away and I won't be listing and I'm gonna come back next Monday and I'm gonna let you know how I go with that whole setup of trying to go away for a few days. So fingers crossed it can work and a few more sales can come through over the course of the next week. I'm a little nervous, but I do need to make sure that I get two really good days worth of listings in today and tomorrow. We're about to go and do that now. So let's go and find some stuff.
Well, guys, it's my lucky day because we have got half price in my favourite category, the DVDs. Now, I have found this one here to kick us off. We've got Rescue Me Seasons 1 to 4. These are all just a dollar a piece, and TV shows are exactly what I'd like to be finding. The Good Wife, Season 1 to 5. I picked that up. Heston's Feast, it goes pretty well. Seasons 1 and 2 there. And I've also got Fame, Seasons 1 and 2. But have a look at this. This is an absolute relic. I've got Seasons 1 to 15 here. Every single episode of the TV show, ER. This thing goes for $220 in complete entirety, and I'm picking it up for just the $15. Unbelievable stuff. Different strokes. This is a huge bolo TV show, guys, to be finding. Eight seasons worth. I've got two seasons right here. Pretty Little Lies. Look, it's a pretty common TV show. You're going to see this one quite a lot, but for the price point of just two bucks, I had to pick it up. I've also got a few mixed uh, seasons of The Walking Dead, and as you would have seen with Inspector Rex earlier in this episode, uh, the mixed bundles do go pretty well. The Practice, well, that's a, a pretty rare TV show, guys, so I'm happy to find that one as well. Uh, again, I'm just paying a dollar a piece, and then I've also got this. Uh, the Cook and the Chef, uh, that was brand new and sealed, which is something I like to find. Find, especially heading into the Q4 period uh, and Christmas period that we've got going ahead. So that was really, really good stuff. Have a look at this allocation, guys. I've ended up spending $42 for everything that you can see here. And as we touched on, the absolute relic of them all, ER. I've been able to find it. Unbelievable start to this day, guys. Boy, oh boy, guys. ER. Every single episode of that iconic TV show. $220 worth of estimated resale value. And I've got complete confidence that that will sell in a pretty quick space of time as well. Paid $42, as you would have seen. I think the total estimated resale value in that little mix, which was only 10 minutes worth of sourcing in one store, is about $450 worth of value. So you guys need to be doing DVDs, you need to be doing media if you aren't yet already, and stick to your TV shows because that's where the money is. Pretty lucky to see all of these Harley Davidson tees, all from different parts of the world as well. We've got South Africa here, Orlando. I checked to see if they were vintage, and unfortunately, they were all from around the 2010 to 2015 range. So for that reason, they aren't worth as much money as you might think they are. They were 20 bucks a piece, so I had to say no. We've got the Nike Prestos here. Uh, look, they're a US 5, so that's the only reason I put them on the uh, back onto the shelf. They're a $20 asking price, which is a little bit steep as well. Size is pretty important when it comes to sell-through rate of shoes, so I left them behind. Uh, these are a size US 6.5 as well for $15. Uh, these were the uh, Mercurial Superflies, but I did leave those behind as well. So in the end, we didn't find too much in that second run. So I ended up coming away empty-handed from that second run of the day, but the first one was so good with all of those DVDs that I felt like I could go home and just start to list them up. And, and there's gonna be enough money there and enough listings for the next two days. So I've actually gone ahead and laid out all of these DVDs here for you. And I wanted to go through the price points of each one just to show you how much money is actually in this category. Remember, I've just paid $42 here and it only took about 10 minutes to source. So let's go through them. I'll show you what they're worth. So here we go, guys. Uh, some pretty good numbers here. This one here, True Detective, I took a bit of a risk on that. I just grabbed it. It was just a dollar, but it only actually comped out to be $8. I don't necessarily comp every single item. I just kind of work off past experience for a lot of these, but I have done pretty well. I took a gamble on this, the House of Cards trilogy. I just like the fact that it was a trilogy. Uh, BBC, something I'll always just pick up, and then three discs, multiple discs always do well. So 12 bucks, uh, that was pretty good. The Practice, uh, volume one, that was a $15 one. That's actually a pretty rare show, The Practice. So if you can find that, you'll do well. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit there, we got uh, a $15 on that. Now here's some bigger dollar value items. We've got 20 there, 20, 25, 25, 25 brand new and sealed on The Cook and the Chef. Uh, and then this one here, guys, different strokes. These two seasons, one and two, they go for 30 bucks if I do it as a bundle. So that was just incredible. If you can find all eight seasons, there's uh, uh, sold comps over in the States going for $330 for that there, so that's just ridiculous. Uh, the Good Wife, I've got multiple seasons there. I can do a bundle for $30 on that. 35 on Rescue Me, if you can find all seven seasons, you'll do really well. Uh, the Walking Dead as well, I should be able to get about 10 bucks a piece on that show there, but here is the real winner today, guys. Have a look at that, $220 every single episode of ER. That is a massive bolo to find. So guys, Everything that we picked up in that first op shop run today, it was a $42 spend and the comps on eBay, if this all goes on to sell, is gonna be $530. Not too bad for 10 minutes work. 
So another big part of today is actually to film a 30% club video, my membership here on this YouTube channel. You can be a part of the 30% club. It's uh, an extra video that you get per month. And the one that I'm gonna be filming today and just, I guess, trialing the format of is a live stream with one of the 30% club members. And we've actually got Retro Cartel on today. He's got about a $43,000 90 day eBay store. He's doing really well with only 500 items in store. So I'm actually really interested to pick his brain today on what will be probably a 45 minute to one hour live stream. Uh, and then I'll post it up into the 30% club membership. There are already a couple of videos on the membership for you guys to join and check out if you want to. Uh, but I'm gonna jump into this now over lunch and hopefully it's gonna be a really good chat. Just a really cool hour, guys. It's something I think I'm gonna do a whole lot more for the 30% club members. We sat down and we spoke around five mistakes beginner eBay sellers make and uh, it was just a really cool chat that I was able to have with Carl at Retro Cartel Collectibles. So a big thank you uh, to Carl for being a part of that. That video will be out in a week's time for anyone that is a part of that membership. Uh, links are in the description below for it. Um, you know how I mentioned, obviously, in this video, the fact that we have had such a terrible uh, weekend of sales with $660. Well, things do balance out on eBay. We've just had a really cool sale come through right here, $129 for a TV uh, t or movie set of Halloween. I picked up uh, from Laura on the sunny coast in a private pit not too long ago. Um, so I think I paid about a dollar a piece or $2 a piece with Laura for that. So you know, 10 to $15 worth of an outlay. And there it is yet again, a monster DVD sale of $129. So the category just produces more and more each and every day for me. And it gives me more and more trust and confidence to keep selling in the category. And hopefully with ER that we're about to go and sell as well, that can um, really continue to highlight the point um, that it is just a very good category to be selling on eBay at the moment. But I'm gonna leave you with this video right here, which was another set of crazy DVD finds that I was able to find in a thrift store, a little like today, but probably actually very similar today. There was a whole heap of profit found in that one. So go and check that one out. Appreciate you being here, guys. We'll see you in Perth. I'm off to Perth in a couple of days. Can't wait. We'll see you soon.